Hi, I'm Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the Friends book tag, which was originally created by Novel Novels. I'll have the original video linked down below. And I was tagged by Dane Reads and E.D. Lewis Reviews. This is a tag that has prompts corresponding to each of the letters in the word friends. The first prompt is F friendship. Name a book with a strong friendship in it. I always use this series for this answer and I was trying to think of something different but there is no friendship as strong as this one in my opinion and that is Rose and Lissa from the Vampire Academy series. These guys are really good friends that don't ever tear each other down and they even have a kind of psychic and emotional connection uh, through magic and you just don't get any closer than that. So yeah, Rose and Lissa from the Vampire Academy is going to be my answer for that question every single time. <laughs> I love them so much. Are real life a non-fiction book that you want to read? The one that I want to read the most at this point in time is Columbine. And this is by Dave Collins. And this is something I really want to read more about. I know it really affected me when the Columbine shooting happened. I was in high school at the time and it was a really big deal. Call it a morbid curiosity, but I want to know more about this situation. And yeah, I just have a morbid curiosity when it comes to a lot of true crime. But this one is especially personal to me. So that is my answer for that. I is for indie author, a book by an indie author. I'm going to have to go with Driven by Dan Cobain. I really love this first book in a modern take on a cozy mystery series. Such a creative premise, which was trying to solve a murder of a woman killed by a self-driving car. I also really loved the characters, the main detective and his techie girl sidekick. I also have the second in the series, The Tower Hill Terror, as well as No Rest for the Wicked and his newest book, Meet, on my Kindle, ready to read. I wish I could read all the books faster. I am so behind, but I can't wait to read those as well. E, endings. A book where the ending made you scream. I just reread Spearbound by Rochelle Mead in January. It is the fifth book in the Vampire Academy series, and this was a reread. I believe maybe even a second reread. <laughs> But there is such a surprising and intense ending to this book. And I could not believe that I didn't remember that part in the whole story. But there's so many of those kinds of weird realizations throughout this book. So yeah, I guess that one slipped my memory. But I was open jawed. I was shocked. I believe I actually screamed and then giggled. I can't believe this. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, then I was thinking, how? I know there's only one book left. How are they going to get through this huge situation and still wrap things up nicely? But I know that it will. <laughs> and I really, really need to get to that sixth book soon. Soon. 
I need to re-remember the ending. N new, a new book you can't wait to buy. I have pre-ordered a book that I will be getting in March and that is A Bright Enchanted Suffering by Eric LaRocca. I've been hearing such great things from the horror tube book people that I follow and I will finally get to read it in March. Yay! D. Dark. A book which has dark themes. Dark themes are totally my thing. It's my favorite thing in books. I could have picked so many books on my shelves, but I watched an interview that my friend Jason at Jason's Weird Reads did yesterday, which was Saturday at this point, but I know this video will be going up later. He did an interview of Mark Allen Gunnels, and that got me thinking about this book, Where the Dead Go to Die, by Aaron Dries and Mark Allen Gunnels. And this does have dark themes, so it fits perfectly, and it was on my mind. This is a zombie novel that all takes place in a rest home. And there's one floor dedicated to people that have this zombie virus. And it's where those people can live out their last days before the virus takes them. And they can be pretty much euthanized before they become deadly. <laughs> and it's all sad. I mean, this is a sad, emotional book. And the main character is a nurse working in this rest home on, on this floor and her interactions with the patients there as well as her own life that she's dealing with as a single mother widow whose husband died of this same disease, which is why she cares so much about this job. This was a tearjerker and it was really tense and scary at the end. And S, we've come to the last letter in friends. S is for share the love. Share the love and tag some of your favorite channels I decided to go the Dane Reads way again. I kind of like this. I went into my comments and got the last few people that have commented on my videos and then I checked their channels and make sure they haven't done this tag before. And yeah, I just want to thank everybody who leaves comments on my channel. It really means a lot to me. And you guys are great booktube friends. So I am going to tag Melissa and her books, The Bookish Bryants, Steve Talks About Books and Stuff, and Books of Blood. So I would love to see your answers to the friends tag. If you like this video, you can hit like and subscribe. And I will be back every Tuesday, Thursday, and sometimes Sunday with another book-related video. Thanks. Bye.